Hi guys, today is Friday. I hope everyone's day is off to an amazing start. Thanks so much for stopping in today, guys. I am down here in the basement because I wanted to chat with you guys. And Eric is actually upstairs on a call and Chase is in class. So I decided to tip down here and open up the video. Um, I have been up since 6 a.m. this morning. I got up, got my workout in, and I did orders. Guys, I I can't thank you guys enough, first of all, for all the support. I say this all the time. You guys are just amazing. But after putting up this last video where I think Eric was doing the Bop It Challenge, I don't know how you do a challenge when the other person isn't actually there to actively participate, one, and B, make sure you're not cheating. But anyway, that's what he did. Um, but in that video, I... Um, talked about the new items in the store, one of which being the masks. You guys know that's like part of our essential wardrobe now and you guys showed out I mean like I said I had to get up at six o'clock this morning to make sure I was able to get a workout in that is very very important to me it helps me to you know feel vibrant and just get on with my day but also um, you know get these orders out I want to thank you guys also those of you who comment on um, just how you are appreciating the fast shipping so Thank you guys for noticing that. Really do appreciate it. Again, cannot thank you guys enough for all of the love and support. I'm pretty sure uh, in this video, Eric's going to give his shout out. It was a lot of orders and I still have some that I need to get uh, shipped out today. So be on the lookout for your confirmations. Those will all be going or coming to your emails here shortly. But yeah, been up for quite a while today. Um, it's just really good to get my workout in. This morning, I uh, started the day off. I don't know where the camera was, I apologize. This morning, I started the day with just some lemon and lime water. So right now, I am having my cup of joe in this cute little stylish mug. Do you guys love it? My coffee this morning is just so yummy. So yummy this morning, guys. Um, special blend special little mix so hold line let me show you guys how i made it so before jumping into the quick recipe guys for my coffee today i want to send a huge thank you out to danette may and mindful health for partnering with me on today's video danette may and mindful health guys is a brand that focuses on becoming the happiest healthiest you you guys know that those are two things that i have touted here on the channel for many many years now well they sent over to me one of their raw superfood products see cacao bliss guys this product curves your sweet tooth if you have a sweet tooth like me you have to get this okay it boosts your energy and it assists with inflammation and yes both of my knees say Thank you. This healthy chocolate also supports a strong immune, immune system in that it contains turmeric. Now, I take turmeric on a daily basis, but let me tell you, my turmeric doesn't go down as easily as the Cacao Bliss, and it doesn't taste anything like this. Um, the Cacao Bliss also contains raw cacao. So many of you have been asking me, Tan, what are you doing for your skin? It looks so radiant, uh, so cl uh, clear. Uh, well, guys, this is the secret. I have been trying this out for a while now. And as you guys know, uh, raw cacao is, it has one of the most powerful acting antioxidants. It promotes healthier looking skin, as I said, and it also increases your energy level. And who doesn't love that? can see guys there are so many recipes that you can create using the cacao bliss tonight we are having the healthy decadent brownies for game night so i am 
looking forward to trying those out. I have tried out a number of the other recipes and they are all amazing. Now, what I am looking forward to trying out also are some of the bonus recipes that you can create with Cacao Bliss. I am looking forward to creating the Cacao Bliss Body Butter. Oh my gosh, it just sounds scrumptious for the skin and I want to create the Cacao Bliss Lip Balm for my lips. So these are just some really great recipes. Um, I will leave a coupon code below for you. I'll actually have, have it pop up here on the screen. The code is actually unfrock where you will receive a free frother. Who doesn't want a frother, guys, to kind of dress up our coffee? If we're drinking coffee every day, why not make it look really pretty? So using the code unfrock, you will receive a free frother when you purchase um, Cacao Bliss. I will also leave the link below uh, where you can go and check out Danette May and Mindful Health and some of their other superfood products, guys. So let's get on to this really, really quick recipe. So today, guys, I simply brewed up my coffee the way I do every morning. However, instead of using creamer, I used one level scoop of my Cacao Bliss, gave it a quick scoop, stir and then froth it up really nicely with my free frother and it was just so decadent and delicious. Eric saw me working hard on orders this morning and he didn't have calls until later today, which is actually now. Um, he went to the grocery store this morning for me. He brought all the groceries in, um, but he didn't put anything away. So I'm going to take this opportunity to do a little bit of a uh, grocery haul. Also, I want to thank everybody for commenting on the condition of my hair. Thanks so much, guys, for all of the wonderful comments uh regarding my hair but anyway let's get upstairs and uh take a look at what he picked up i gave him a list so let's see if he kind of stuck to the list all right so we will start here on this end uh we have some very cheap paper towels i was informed that this is all that they had so it's gonna have to do uh some cheap kroger napkins again this is all that they had and they will absolutely serve uh, their purpose. <laughs> we have some hot dog buns, some honey wheat bread. We have some Arnold sandwich thins, and these are the honey wheat variety. We have some tortilla rounds. We have some pretzels. I love little, uh, little things like these to snack on at night when, you know, it's after dinner, but you're not right uh, not quite ready to go to bed and you feel like you want to munch on something. So these little pretzels are great for that. We have some veggie chips. Now, I love the veggie chips that are actually in the shape of chips. You know, they do have the veggie sticks, but for some reason I find that these taste a lot better. Over here we have some carnation breakfast drinks. Uh, these are the chocolate variety. These are great for uh, meal replacements, lunch, breakfast, things like that. They have a lot of protein, a lot of vitamins and minerals. So really good. Uh, some apple juice. Eric loves to have this apple juice with his V8s in the morning. He says he likes to actually chase his uh, V8s because he finds them to be, you know, not so tasty, but you know, great source for uh, vegetables. So he uh, drinks the V8s and then he takes a swig of apple juice. Um, that's his concoction. Uh, we also have some of these V8 energy drinks. These are also great for in the mornings. Um, Eric doesn't drink coffee, nor does Chase. Um, <laughs> so these are great little uh, breakfast alternatives in the morning. Um, we have these non breads here. So tonight I was thinking we could do our own little personal pizzas. So I purchased these for that. Over here we have some bushes, baked beans. We have some sliced olives for the pizzas tonight. We have some granola for yogurt, some almonds, pepperoni for our little pizzas. This is some tuna for tuna salad later in the week. Several cans of that. Uh, 
just some paper plates, some trash bags, some ginger snaps. I love ginger snaps. Um, these are like an old school cookie. Let me know in the comments below if you are familiar with ginger snaps. These are my favorite. Um, ginger snaps and vanilla wafers are among my favorite cookies ever. All right, we have some cereal back there, some Ritz crackers to go along with the uh, tuna. Um, I have some coffee here. He said that they were actually out of my um, brand that I typically get. Let's walk over here. This is the one that I typically get, my um, Javalia. And so you guys know that I have a coffee station here in the kitchen. I have a coffee station upstairs in the theater room and I have one in the basement. Well, in the theater room, I am all out of the Javalia. So I asked him uh, to pick up some more. He said that they were all out. So he picked up this, well, I've never tried this before. You guys will have to let me know. Um, he said he picked this up because it was on sale. You know, this is what happens when your spouse goes to the grocery store, but I'm not complaining. Um, deodorant for uh, Chase and Eric, deodorant for me. We were all out of vitamin D and with us being inside so much these days, absolutely have to have that. I have some caramel macchiato creamer here, some tartar sauce, Duke's mayo, gotta have the Duke's. Um, these right here are also great for, you know, little late night snacks. You don't want anything sweet, but you know, you want something more uh, savory. These little small plates, these are great. They are all basically the same. Um, this one here is the Chipotle chicken breast variety. So you have a little, a uh, few slices of little Chipotle chicken, some cheeses, and some little bread crisps there. So great for watching movies at night, maybe with uh, paired with a few grapes or carrot sticks, something like that. Uh, we have some queso dip here, peanut butter. We have some salsa, some Parmesan shavings here. And of course, these are Eric's favorite little guilty pleasures, Coca-Cola, Fanta pineapple, and Fanta orange. So over here in the refrigerator, I have actually put up quite a few of the cold items and I can take this opportunity to give you guys an update on how the refrigerator organization uh, is holding up. You guys will recall that I did a video showing you how I had kind of cleaned out and organized the refrigerator. I am happy to say that it's, it, it's holding up really well. Um, I will say also too that on the occasions, on the occasions when it is a bit messy, the culprit is actually Eric, not myself, not Chase. It is actually Eric. Um, but anywho, I had purchased some little, well, Eric picked up some little cheese cubes, also great for snacking. Um, I put away the little lunch meat here in this container. There's some sliced cheese there. Um, this is what I am actually going to use to make our uh, little <laughs> our little personalized pizzas. So there's some ground turkey and some sweet Italian sausage. We'll use that tonight. Uh, there are some little tomatoes. This Yoplait yogurt we picked up um, on the last grocery run um, a few days ago. It is really, really good. Um, um, just a alternative to possibly ice cream. So this is actually the Starburst uh, variety. So we have cherry, orange, I think there's some strawberry in here. Um, you can't really see it here, but there's some salad in there. This particular tray is empty. Um, the fruit and veggie tray over here is still doing well. These tomatoes Eric picked up this week, um, I guess for his sandwiches. I'm going to use these little bell peppers here to top my pizza today. Lemons, oranges, and apples in there as well. And don't worry, all of this has been thoroughly, thoroughly cleaned. All right, moving on down here to the breakfast drawer. We have our eggs, our cheeses, our bacon um, sometimes i like to make like a little tortilla breakfast wrap um, so we have those in there here in this container just some breakfast sausage and you know yeah this is the cheap craft american cheese sometimes i like this craft cheese eric and chase don't really care for it 
they prefer the Sargento sliced cheese, um, but I like that too. Um, this side of the refrigerator door is currently empty. This is um, actually Eric's area. He likes to put all of his drinks there. Over here are the sauces, condiments, uh, the hot dog station there still doing well. Uh, we had uh, some baked chicken a few days ago, so there are about, what, two pieces left in there. All right, that's my signal to close. And the other items that I have put away are down here in the freezer. We purchased one more box of the CPAC uh, Beer Batter Cod. This one we already had. Eric loves these for lunch. These are just some catfish nuggets here. This is the like, uh, this is our little sweet drawer. Some butter pecan ice cream. These little popsicles right here have like, I wanna say like 70 calories. They're like real fruit and they are the Outshine uh, brand. There's raspberry, strawberry, and lime in here. Those are really, really yummy. These are some frozen pizzas that are just really quick meals. I take mine out of the box. That saves room here in this freezer drawer. And over here, this is just our smoothie station. All right, so that ugh, is everything. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting all of these items away. I will, if I remember, come back and share with you guys how our little individual pizzas turned out. So yeah, see you guys in a little bit. remember the flowers that I shared with you a few videos back that I purchased from the grocery store well I actually wanted Eric to pick up some today but unfortunately he said that they were all out they didn't have any and um, I woke up this morning and this had happened so I think I'm gonna go ahead and toss these. They have served me well. When there's another one, leaf just fell off, a little petal I should say fell off down there. I'm um, getting a lot of fallout. So I gotta clean all of this up. And hopefully on our next grocery store run, they'll have some pretty ones in there. But um, for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and toss these. Um, I guess I could put these out in the backyard and kind of use them as compost. Um, place them around some of the um, flower beds that I have out there, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and toss it. I don't feel like going around uh, digging in the dirt and stuff today, but um, <laughs> these were uh, a joy here in the family room.
Mario Kart, and I've been winning bopping and a bunch of other board games, but let us know in the comments what you're doing. Yeah. Um, what are you guys doing with your spouse or your significant other? Sure. Uh, Don't believe the hype. Don't believe the hype. Y'all. <laughs> I did weird. I didn't really seen... play cards with you that much. I don't recall. Eric, you cannot play cards. No. Least of all, say. What? First of all, cards is mathematics and probability, and I'm an engineer, so you know I'm under the calculations. No, so. no, no. First of all, you have to be like extra, extra like. Oh. I don't know, like. <laughs> oh, that's, that's not your. That's not your lane. What? That's I not used your to beat you in space. That's, that's fine. We can do a space sir. challenge. It's all good. We can do a space <laughs> challenge. It's all lane, good. Sir. But anyway, like, oh, like, um, if you're married or you live with your significant other, are both of y'all, like, not working right now? Right. Or are you guys, like, one of you um, is an essential worker? You know, how's that going? What are you doing with the kids? Are you homeschooling the kids? You know, yeah. we used to homeschool, so we understand that world very well i know hey, it's a challenge for a lot of you guys with you still working like eric always you know he's yeah i work from home so this it hasn't really changed that so, much other than i'm not traveling yeah like, but are you guys considered essential workers oh no not at all no i'm not an essential worker um i don't really i'm trying to think do i know any essential workers personally um like you we know, know some Dad, doctors Deb and eric are still working yeah yeah and but we know, you know some, they're stuff, yeah we know some doctors like our neighbors are doctors but i don't think they're like essential I thought he was emergency room. Is doctor. he? I don't, I don't know. No, I, I still see him in his road. Okay, yeah. well, so he might be essential. You need to ask him. He's so nosy. <laughs> so, this is our view right now. Everybody's I told. He's having a birthday. See the birthday balloons? We're being oh, all nosy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the birthday balloons. I got to feel bad for the folks that have had birthdays during this time, mm -hmm. present company included, because <laughs> it has, you know, it's kind of sucked for you guys. Yeah. Um, it's not been fun to have a birthday or any celebration, all the graduations and all that stuff. It's like, man. Side note, I told Eric, this is where I want Chase to stay when he goes to college. I knew this is above. This is not college. Uh -uh. This why is, does he have to yeah, have the professional? So why I don't does even he want have to think about typical... what the rent is on these. No, he can get no. student dorm. Uh -uh. Apartment. I want him to stay in one of these right here. So it's funny. We were talking <laughs> as we were walking around. None of this stuff that you were showing was here Yeah. a few years ago. And we don't even remember, remember what was here before. Mm-hmm. I think it was woods, but you just your memory you forget what was here, but it had to have been just like I just trees. Don't, and stuff. I don't believe it was woods. I just don't. There weren't houses here. But I don't how know how here. so since we're down here in the land of the high rise condos, let us know in the comments, you know, we obviously have a single family home that's that's freestanding, um, which we love. But I will be the first one to tell you, having your own home, home ownership is not for <laughs> the weak at heart right you, you got it's a lot of maintenance you're either going to do it yourself or you're going to pay some money to do it so it's great but there's a lot that comes with it sometimes i'm like man it would just be nice to have a condo or a townhouse I that was low maintenance yeah these. this is why i'm telling you chase is going to stay in one of these because then we can come and visit <laughs> the we colleges that chase street. is looking at are like driving distance anyway so it's not like care. these are not <laughs> so to be clear these are not college no, this is young professional. Yeah, he is. A young I don't even want to No. So let us know in the comments, you know, for those of you that are in apartments or condos or townhouses, do you prefer the low maintenance lifestyle? Or are you like, you know, I wish I had the, the single family home and all that comes with it. on the last video or a few videos back um, and an Instagram post um, my wife introduced um, the latest line on our store in the Unfrumpy Mommy Gifts collection which is where she'll sell like a t-shirt and it'll be paired with like a, a bag or a turban now sign of the times she's selling uh, t-shirts that are matched up with with masks so you can now be stylish and uh, wear a cloth mask 
to match the t-shirt that you buy from the store. So she sells those um, in bundles. Uh, we actually wear the masks ourselves as I just had on. They're great masks. Um, they're cloth, obviously non-medical. What I like about them is because they're basically a cloth material, um, you can wash them and reuse them. The mask I actually just had on, I've washed a couple of times. Just wash it with, you know, light colored clothes, with uh, light colored clothes, dark clothes. Uh, it's better if you let it just flat and dry, but even if you throw it in the dryer, just iron it out and it's like new. So yeah, check that out on the store. Um, and actually a lot of these orders are from that mask line. That's why I've got so many orders to go through with you guys and so many shout outs. You guys know what time it is. Pink packet shout out time, as you can see. As I load up the uh, truck here, you guys are continuing to show us a lot of love. So really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, let's get into it as we head over to uh, UPS and the Postal Service to drop off these packages. First shout out, and we'll go through this fairly quickly because there are so many packages, is uh, Michelle W. from Upper Marlboro, uh, Maryland. Carla O. from Sacramento, California. Let me put these back here so I can keep track of them. Sonia P. Uh, Kadada J. from uh, Lynette, Alabama. Crystal W. Concord, North Carolina. All right, Crystal. Laurie B. from Anna Avenel, New Jersey. Shout out. Alicia S. Greenwood, South Carolina. Shout out to the South Carolina. I think I mentioned we used to live in South Carolina for about three or four years when I was uh, working and going to grad school as well as my wife. I went to um, Clemson and my wife um, went to a, a Converse uh, college. So we, we were working and going to school, getting our masters at the same time. So I lived in uh, the Greenville, South Carolina, Spartanburg, uh, Greenville, South Carolina, Spartanburg area. Really liked it, um, enjoyed living there. Uh, the next one is to Denicia S. Lauderdale Lakes, Florida. Shout out to all of South Florida. A lot of packages. Debbie J. Uh, Albany, New York. Shanita R. Greenville, South Carolina. So just talking about Greenville. There you go. Love Greenville. It's changed a lot since we lived there. When we lived there, was um, I mean, it was always, you know, it always had stuff, but they've really built it up. The downtown of Greenville is really nice now. It's one of those you know, there are some small towns or smaller towns that you go to that just don't have a lot. But I will say what I like about Greenville is it's halfway between Charlotte and Atlanta. So you can be, you know, in a big city within two hours, whether it's Charlotte or Atlanta from Greenville. It's like right in the middle. Um, and they've really done a good job. The downtown area is nice. It's got a nice park in the downtown area. Really like Greenville. Um, like I said, a lot of small towns, it seems like they're kind of forgotten. But Greenville is not one of those small towns. Um, Katrina H. from Elizabeth City. I know I've done a lot of shout outs to Elizabeth City. So Katrina might be a repeat order. So shout out to you, Katrina. Michelle E., Jamestown, North Carolina. You get a lot of love from North Carolina, Virginia, D.C., that whole area. You know, I just shouted out Upper Marlboro. Um, I, do, I have ESP, I tell you. Um, this is Pam D., Washington, D.C. What did I just say? That whole mid-Atlantic, D.C., Virginia, Maryland connection. Oh, got to give a shout out to Judy S. You know who you are. Now, I know Judy is one of our uh, most loyal customers. Really appreciate her patronage. So shout out to you, Judy S. from in Wachula, Florida. And finally, last but not least, uh, Sheila S. from uh, Akron, Ohio, hometown of uh, LeBron James. Recently spent a lot of time in Akron. Um, Believe it or not, I used to work in the uh, tire industry, so uh, I've done a lot of consulting in and around the tire industry, so I've been to Akron quite a few times, so shout out to her. And uh, yeah, you know, we're still maintaining here at the house. Everybody's healthy, doing well. You know, it's interesting to see all the conversations about opening up um, the country, what you learn. You know, it's a good civics lesson for those of you that have students that are in high school and learning about civics, kind of seeing this interplay between the federal government and state and local governments and how everybody's trying to be in charge, but it seems like nobody's really in charge. Um, you know, we love America because of our, it's democracy, but democracy can be kind of messy sometimes when you get, you know, here the mayor of Atlanta 
is giving a very different message than what the governor is giving about opening up, which is even different now to what the president is saying about opening up the country. So it's been interesting to kind of watch it play out. I personally think we should not rush into anything um, at all. I think better safe than sorry because, you know, it's just like when you're sick, just on a personal level, right? If you're sick and you don't fully recover and you go out and go do something strenuous, you might get sicker, right? And, and it, it just lengthens your recovery. So it hurts to kind of, you know, no one wants to stay in bed for an extra day or an extra two days when you're sick, but you always want to make sure you're fully well before you go back to work and go do anything. And it's, it's going to be like that for the country. I know people are chomping at the bit, but I just think, I, I just think we got to be safe and smart about it. But, you know, let us know what you guys think in the comments. And yeah, I hope you guys are, are doing well and Looking forward to, uh, you know, at least in May, starting to open things up a little bit and appreciate you guys continuing to support the store.